Hi, I'm Amanda, and this is Buttercup. She's 10 years old, but acts like she's two. And this is Ananda, our home for the last eight years. We hope you enjoy this tiny peek into our liveaboard life on the west coast of British Columbia. Oh my child, I know You hurt and you can't let go It's not your fault and you don't deserve All the bad and the hurt Good morning. Buttercup and I are still in Drew Harbor. It's been a bit of a challenging week. Um, I got back from Harriet Bay after uploading my last video to find that somebody had hit my boat and taken off. My starboard stanchion is bent pretty far over and the plate is pulled right out of the fiberglass. I was really sad by that. The damage is annoying and it's not good, but I was just really sad that they didn't leave a note or they didn't, you know, stop or wait to till I got back to apologize or anyway, so that kind of sucked. A couple of days later, I was sitting in my boat and it was around probably five o'clock at night and a yacht, like a literal yacht, slammed into my boat. A few hours earlier, I'd watched him anchor, and I watched him drop about 75 feet in, at low tide. And high tide here is around, depending on where you drop, about 120. It could be as high as 120. Anyway, I knew he was going to drag, and I thought, oh, that poor guy, he's going to drag. Yeah, he dragged right into me. My boat. Thankfully, didn't have a whole lot of damage. Um, the plate on my pulpit stanchion has raised and come off the fiberglass just a little bit. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. I mean, the whole pulpit needs to be replaced <laughs> in order to fix it because it's one big piece. Um, there were some gouges in my rub rail and just a ding in my fiberglass in the hull, but nothing too major that poor guy my I think my solar panel must have the corner of it must have hit his window because his window cracked and it's got a big hole in it so that's unfortunate but that's a tough lesson to learn I'll admit I was so mad I was so mad I was so mad because you know, two days earlier, I come back to find some bonehead had hit and run me, and then this guy, and he just, he didn't anchor properly, so the whole thing was avoidable. Yeah, but I have, I've got his phone number, which was good. He, his buddy came over and gave me his phone number, but I'll admit I was kind of a jerk. So, anyways, when I finally get my new phone, which should be tomorrow, I... I'll call and apologize for being such a jerk. But what happened? I was so mad. I was so mad. And it was really scary because if that boat had grabbed onto me and held on and dragged me with him, I would have been in big trouble. Like, big trouble. That happened to me once in Falls Creek. A guy hit me and he took started taking me with him. And <laughs> I had to hop in my dinghy and rush to my neighbor and ask for help. I just left my boat just dragging with some other boat. Anyways, yeah, it's been a really challenging week, and I'll be honest, I'm glad it's over. Well, almost over. So my phone hopefully is arriving tomorrow. And once that arrives, then I'm going to get everything ready and, and get the heck out of here. <laughs> It'll be alright All your life you've tried To be a good man inside Did everything that you 
thought you should Didn't seem to do you any good Cortez Island. I decided to move from Drew Harbor because there were big winds coming. It's going to be about 24 knots. So I decided after last week getting hit twice, I just didn't want to be there in big knots, big knots, big wind again. So we've been here for a couple of days, going to be here for another day. I'll go back on Friday and then hopefully I'll be able to get my winter sorted out and then be able to relax and just enjoy the rest of the summer. I did call the gentleman who hit me, who dragged into me, and I did apologize for being such a jerk. And we got it all sorted out. He was super, super nice. It looks like he's just going to e-transfer me some money so I can buy a new bow pulpit. It's going to be expensive and it's going to be a big job to do. I probably won't get around to replacing it until probably next summer, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But anyway, so we're just here hanging out. The weather is beautiful. The wind is not so bad. Last night it blew here probably around 19 knots, so it wasn't terrible. Today's supposed to be 15 or so knots, but... Tomorrow it's supposed to really calm down a bit, so we'll see. Maybe we'll leave tomorrow, but we'll see. Who knows? Anyway, I gotta get it together, get Buttercup to shore, and get started with my day of leisure. <laughs> morning it's the next day and yeah so I was kind of joking yesterday when I said I had to get started on my day of leisure in fact what I ended up doing was starting a book called Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir he's the guy that wrote The Martian I think that's I think he wrote The Martian anyways the book was so good I ended up reading all day so a day well spent in my opinion um but today's overcast, so what that means is boat cleaning day. When it's sunny, I can't kick Buttercup outside because it's just too hot for her to sit outside. 
And because she's so big, it's a little challenging to, you know, clean the floors and get the boat really clean. On an overcast day, I can kick her outside and get lots of cleaning done. So I think that's what I'm going to do today. I've decided not to leave today because a little bit further north where I'm going, Sunday's going to be a bit rough wind-wise. So I think I'll just hang out here. Um, it's so beautiful here. It's so calm. It's so nice. So I'd rather sit it out here than go somewhere else. So won't leave today. Probably won't leave tomorrow. And I think I'll just play it by ear. It's looking like I'll leave probably in about two days. So we'll see. Anyway, day of cleaning ahead. On the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two. Darling, you know we're gonna have a really good time Driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far The countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand The countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday 